with me is Sushant Singh, whose new book, Operation Cactus, which is exclusively available on Jagannath uh, app. It tells a story about how Indian government, through its military, got involved in uh, stopping a coup d'etat in Maldives. Uh, Sushant, first of all, uh, tell us how did this whole idea come? I know that you're an ex military person who got into journalism, you've been in the think tank sector as well. So what, what, uh, how did this idea come from? So thank you Kunal. Uh, the idea actually came a few years ago when I was still in the army. And there's a, uh, there's a fellow journalist called Smita Prakash. And uh, I, he was the ANI chief. He was yeah. the ANI chief editor. And once we were discussing it, and I casually mentioned Maldives and she, and she happened to narrate the anecdote where she got, her wedding was scheduled yeah. for that day on November. Like your story starts with the book starts with this. Yeah. November 3, 19, 1988 and her, and, all the, and her father was in the Prime Minister's office, Rajiv Gandhi's Prime Minister's office at that time. And every single journalist was picked from, from our wedding and their video cameras were picked and her wedding didn't get recorded beyond a point. So, I, so after that I you know, really looked for the story, searched about it, didn't find anything much on the internet or on the books. And that's how the idea came and when Chiki contacted me and Nandini contacted me from Jagannath. So this was one of the ideas which was already growing in my mind and I took it from there. Do you think that in a context where India is now trying to look at a much larger role beyond the region, such stories really sort of helps us build up the popular in the popular psyche, it helps us to build up a more macho image of India in terms of military um, in operations? See, more than a macho image, actually it allows Indians to think in a different framework. They can actually come to know that India has actually done all this earlier. So, you know, you can do this if you've done this earlier, it is not something unusual. Uh, like when the coup ha happened in Maldives last year, when the democratically elected uh, president was thrown, uh, thrown out, Indians could have actually gone and sent a few, a couple of ships or an aircraft carrier or a few flights of their fighters over, over, over the Maldives island and actually kind of sent a signal. It's not that difficult to do. If you could do it in 1988, in a polar, in a, in a, during the period of the Cold War, in a polar world, you can definitely do much more now. I think that is one message that can go across. My impression is not to create an, uh, create an idea of a macho India going and bashing up people that's not something I would uh, advocate in any case. How has the the strategic uh, community or uh, the military community responded to your book? I think the fact that uh, I did not write it only for a military audience but for a general audience uh, and as I, as I always write as the only person I think of is my wife, she would my wife actually enjoy reading it and uh, she, she, did. She, she did so, so that's the template and that's what I told uh, Chiki also I'll write family for my wife but well, if she can enjoy it then the larger audience can. I have a couple of stories in my mind and the next story which I am working on is about a very infamous and sad operation unlike this operation which happened in Jaffna in 1987 when the Indian commandos landed in Jaffna airfield uh, against the LTT and it was a huge disaster. So how did they land at Jaffna and how did they get out of Jaffna and the kind of losses that suffered? So uh, how are you adapting to this uh, new medium? You yourself said you have to give photocopies to the uh, main <laughs> characters in the film. Yeah. So you know, uh, unfortunately, you know, uh, the writing doesn't change much. Honestly, you know, as long as, as as long as the brief is clear, this is what I'm writing and this is what I'm going to do. This is what my audience says. You know, so I'm not writing a book for an app, which is a serious theoretical book, theoretical treatise on India's regional adventure in the 1980s yeah. and talking for, uh, the big bibliography. It is not that kind of book. Probably that kind of book cannot be written for an app. This yeah. kind of book can be written for Let's say if I were to do a book analyzing the militancy in Kashmir for the last 20 years, probably that would not be suitable for an app. Yeah. It depends on what you are writing for and what you are writing and how you are writing.